We're here at Lake Havasu, meeting Love Hub for Life, Kelsey and Shane. They're about to head out in the morning. So let's go say hello and take a look at their rig and uh, see what they got going. Let's do it. Today, we're featuring Shane and Kelsey, and we're gonna take a look at their rig and talk to them a little bit about what they got going, what their travels have been like, and what inspired them to live the traveling lifestyle. With that, what's happening? What's happening, man? <laughs> How long have you guys been doing this? Uh, since November 3rd of 2019. So I take a picture out that front window every morning and like number it, so it's morning 513 today. Wow, it's very precise. <laughs> very Population, precise. Yeah. <laughs> Man. You're from Texas, you're from Alabama. How'd you guys meet? Uh, Texas, I... we both moved to Dallas. So we were both in the service industry bartending. So I was a cocktail waitress. waitress. He liked his SoCo and Lime and Dollar Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd go to her bar after I got off work. You met up in the service industry Yeah. and you hit it off and both of you were interested in travel. Um, well, yeah, happened? originally, definitely, we were both interested in travel, but we actually, we were together through my entire college career, mm. and then we moved to Colorado together, and then to Alabama, because uh, we were going down to be near his family, and then we were ready to do something different, so. So there were a lot of steps. Oh, yeah. It's oh, been, yeah. led up to. It's been almost 10 years. <laughs> 10 years, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that led up to, let's get a truck, build something on the back of it we yeah. can live in. Yes. We did this in uh, 43 days in our driveway on a wild hair. Like we just wanted to go do something. So we had a bunch of leftover from a house remodel job I did. And uh, we had some supplies from that and I dumpster dove for a lot of wood. Yeah. And we put it together as fast as we could and took off. I think no we did the whole thing intent. under 4,000. Did you come from a carpentry background? Yeah, I grew up working with my hands. Um, not professionally though, no. I've always, I've, I've worked in IT and I did real estate, I did bartending, but um, this craftsmanship was always a hobby. And then we did this and now I've kind of picked it up on the road because bartending's not a thing. So right. when we went back to Alabama, I picked up a bunch of my tools and brought them out with me, so. Right on. Yeah. Mind giving us a tour? Oh, not at all. Come, Come on, on in. in. Alright, so this first step is kind of a doozy, but alright guys, come on in. You got kind of a bolted ceiling for your bed, a big uh, open up window over here to just kind of yeah. open up the space and let some air flow. I'm digging it. Tell me about the build. Um, everything on the inside is all um, pallet wood and all of this shiplap on the wall was um, discounted because it was damaged in one way or another. So. How Everything you, was very low budget. How do you get discounted wood for people that might be watching going, discounted wood, I've never even heard of that. Uh, if you go to Lowe's, Home Depot, they have coal piles, as they call them, so you dig through it, and a lot of them are crooked, or the packaging might be ripped. These were saran wraps, so they were molded, was the problem with them, but there was a bunch of them, so I just took them home and sanded them, and they were perfectly fine. Sanded off all <laughs> yeah. those 75% off. off, I think, is was what those were. Yeah. So the whole build is a lot lighter than it looks. It's all... The two by four, or the frame itself is two by four, and then most of the rest is two by two. And then the outside is just that beadboard, and then the inside is just this paneling. So. Yeah, we've never actually weighed it, but <laughs> our best guess is that it's around 2,000 pounds without our stuff and around 2,500 with it, so. This is a dually? Yes. Okay. No. No, the child no. is not. <laughs> 3,500 or? 2,500. 2,500? Yeah. It's what we could but afford. But it's doing it, though. It is doing it. We, we are... added some airbags underneath, okay. so. <laughs> that and all-terrain tires, but we are at 27,000 miles we've taken it, so we've been to the east and west coast twice now back and forth and all the way down to Key West and it's been a lot of places. What inspired you to go to the East and West Coast? Did you have family or did you just want to check some places out? Um, I really wanted to see all 50 states before I turned 30. It didn't happen. <laughs> we, uh, we saw, where are we at, 32 now? Yeah. 32 states so far in the Love Hut, um, but uh, we just fell in love with the lifestyle. But originally it was only supposed to be a year-long trip so that we could see all 50 states. Yeah, it was just something fun to do. And we didn't know about nomad culture or we met a group of nomads in um, Florida at the Tiny House Festival. And they told us about <laughs> RTR, RTR, and 
everything in court. Florida. They were talking about yeah. stuff in Arizona. So yeah. we we met all of those people <laughs> back here last year for for that in Courtside. We had never heard of Courtside. We didn't know that That's... you could come out here and park with thousands of people. Like it was such an odd concept. And then one thing led to another, and here we are still doing it. <laughs> so you've actually... enjoyed it so much to the point that you're like, man, let's keep it going. What's uh, what's in the future for you? What do you think you're gonna do next? We this for a while. Don't know. <laughs> no, like, where are you gonna yeah. go? Is there anything you want to see in particular? Uh, I mean, we we do see our family, and they're all in the mm -hmm. south. Hers is in Texas, mine's in Alabama. So we'll he head back there once it warms up down there. We'll we follow the seasons down there. So when it's warm there, we go to the south. Um, other than that, I I'm trying to progress and be on a nomadic carpenter and make that a full-time thing when we left bartending was supposed to be the the way we made money and that's kind of went by the wayside so how do people find you if they want to have some carpentry work done actually it would be love hut for life and well, it's facebook or youtube it's all under love hut for life so that's we made it very simple to get a hold of us in any way what would be your area of uh expertise if somebody wanted some work done definitely carpentry that is i like doing cabinet builds and um finished carpentry framing out's not always the most fun but <laughs> my if i had to pick a hobby it would it would definitely be the the finished carpentry and what would that look like somebody would contact you find out where you are kind of meet someplace and pull the materials together and you knock it out for them yeah or if they have their own property and they want me to come to their property that's always an option i i'm kind of open to anything really I, so you're we open to like houses too oh yeah no i've been doing some of that up until we got to the desert for um, Schooly Palooza, I was doing remodel work. So we did stopped and did a towel job, and I did some plumbing work and trim work, and resided a barn. Like just whatever came my way. I built fences this summer. Okay. <laughs> I don't say no to much. Right on, Kelsey. I know that you do most of the filming. Yes. What can people expect to see on your channel? Uh, well, for the most part, it's just about our travels and everything that we experience. It started out really just being something for our family and our friends to watch and like kind of go on this journey with us. Um, it turns out most of them don't care, um, <laughs> but a lot of other people do. Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and that's Dixie. And we're Love Hub for Life. We've now been on the road for 122 weeks. Uh, so it's kind of grown from that. It shows every build that Shane does. Okay, and, so people uh, can see his work. tours of those rigs um, and all of our travels, all of the awesome people we meet, and just a lot about the nomadic lifestyle in general. Just what all of us are doing out here in the desert. And in, in, in addition to that, tell us about this six questions that you're asking nomads. What can okay. people find if they want to go to your channel and see what's All going right, on with that? So you're in seven of these videos. Uh, there's currently uh, 10 in the works. There's one out and 10 in the works. And that will probably just continue to grow and come out periodically on Wednesdays. But it's just questions. Uh, so the one that will come out this next Wednesday is actually would you ever quit van life and you're in that one and a lot of other nomads are too and it's just what their answers are because it's questions that we get all the time but we can't answer them for the entire nomadic community gotcha we can have 15 nomads tell you their answers and then you can come to your own conclusions from that right on with that let's wrap it up i've been hanging out uh, right up the hill from these guys for i don't know a week or two and nothing but uh, positive energy from down here we hung out a couple nights ago at a campfire great crowd hope to meet these guys again but i wanted you guys to meet them for sure today so thanks for watching see you on the next upload Yeah.